Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's make some beautiful things using scraps and our stash. Y'all stay tuned. So recently I've gotten quite a few comments about craft supplies running low because we're all um, basically staying home, aren't able to get to the store. Amazon isn't able to deliver as quickly as they normally would. And some of you are running low on embellishments and you want to make your projects cute and you don't think that you have the embellishments to do that. Well, actually you do. Because if we go through our stash and we pull out some papers, we pull out little bits of this and little bits of that, we can put it together to create our own cute embellishments. And that's what we're going to do today. I am going to show you how I am creating some of my own embellishments that I'll store away for later use, but I wanted to show you the process that I'm using. So here are some of the tags and embellishments that I have been making. Very simple process, not hard at all. Basically what I did was used a paper pad, took out one of the cut apart sheets and just made my own pieces of embellishments, my own really sweet tag. And what we're going to make right now is this adorable butterfly. And you can see that I've made the butterfly um, with newsprint on it as well as flowers on it. And I am going to show you guys how I did this so you don't need a punch to make these butterflies. And then we're going to take our butterflies and turn them into beautiful pieces that we can use on our projects. And as you can see, I've got these five wonderful pieces already ready to go on any project that I would want to make. So let me show you very quickly how easy it is to make the butterflies without a punch and without a die. So here's what I did guys. I took some decorative paper and just ran it through my printer. Now my printer will accept um, regular old DSP or card stock or text weight paper. My printer will take those and hopefully yours will too. And what I did was I went online and I found some butterfly outlines and I basically just decided on two shapes that I like. One is a monarch shape and the other one, I'm not really sure what it is, but I simply took them and cut them out. And I am going to cut out one really quick with you guys and then I'll show you how we put this together. So this is the front of the butterfly. This is the part that I want showing. So for me, I'm just gonna trim away some of this excess paper. So for me, I am going to trim mine outside of the black mark that's going to be on the bottom so you really won't see it. And to avoid the jagged edges that scissors can give you, I'm basically moving the paper and just allowing the scissors to cut out. And y'all know that I am not a scissors person. I prefer my finger blade, but I am going to use my scissors for this. and it doesn't have to be perfect. All right guys, so my butterflies are cut out and I am going to just go along the edges and ink the edges with this Candy Shop Pink 
ink that was sent to me by scrapbook.com in an order that I placed. Um, they gave me a freebie. So that was wonderful because I don't usually buy a whole bunch of ink, um, ink pads, but in this case, I like the color of this, so I'm just inking the edges because I wanted to give it just a little bit more depth and dimension. And all I'm using to ink is just a regular old cosmetic sponge. Then I have two uh, of the newsprint ones that I'm going to do as well. And I'm going to use my Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And again, I'm just using a regular old uh, makeup sponge. Okay, so I have both of these done. And at this point, all I'm going to do is just fold up the wings and I'll have a little center like this. I am going to take my glue, place my glue on that, and then I'll just position this on this one. And I'm stacking them because it just gives me the look of this butterfly in flight. And while that one is drying, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this one. So I'm just going to fold it up just like that Take my ink, I mean take my glue, put some glue on it, and then I'll just match these two up. And that just gives me a more dimensional butterfly. And with these little butterflies, you could actually flatten them out to store them. And then when you're ready to use them in your crafting, if you wanted the dimension, just take the wings and fold them up. Or you could lay them down on your project flat but I like that dimensional look that we get with these. And that is how easy it is to make our own butterflies. So basically what I did guys was I went online and I did a search of butterfly images. And I made sure that my search was a public search that was copyright free and free for personal use. Then what I did was I cut down a piece of 12 by 12 decorative paper and ran it through my copier with those images on it. And that's how I'm able to get these decorative images. It is that simple. So now we are going to take those decorative images and turn them into some useful crafting. So before we make any tags or pieces of ephemera, I wanted to show you guys this because this flower looks very similar to some of the flowers that I use from Anna Griffin. And not everyone has those flowers, but you probably have in your paper collections a page that has flowers on it. And that's exactly how I got this flower. This is not an Anna Griffin flower. What I did was I found a paper pad that had cut aparts that had flowers on them. And I decided that I would simply go in and just cut out one of these flowers and use it in my crafting. And you can do the same thing. If you want that beautiful flower look on your craft, just go through, pick out a flower and just trim around. So just find a flower that you like. If there's some white space around it, use that as an edge to what you're trimming out. It just makes it so much easier with that white space to do that um, fussy cutting and get that look that you want. So just like that, I now have this beautiful flower that I can use in my crafting. So just like I did on this one, I used a butterfly, then I used to cut apart, and another one of the flowers that I trimmed out. So on both of these, I used these beautiful little word sayings and they come in a square sheet that was in one of my paper packs. So guys, if you have paper packs, please go through them because you probably have plenty of pages in there that you ordinarily wouldn't use that are perfect for projects like this. So all I did was I cut out a few of the squares. Then I used my punch. I did use a punch for this part and I punched out a scallop square because I wanted that to be the background. And if you don't have a scallop punch, don't worry about it. Just cut out a nice square and mount your other square to that. 
So now we are going to make a really cute piece of ephemera. So I am going to take this square that says be happy and I am going to put just a little tape on the back, mount it onto this. Now I want this flower and this time I think I'll put a little bit of glue on the flower. And I am going to take the flower this time and position it at the top. So then I'll bring in the butterfly and I am going to offset the butterfly here at the bottom. But I am just going to take a little bit of hot glue and I've placed some hot glue on the back. And now I'm going to take that butterfly and just position it right there. And we could actually take leaves and just build this up even more, but it is so simple to be able to get the look that we want on our projects. We don't have to have a whole bunch of fancy equipment to be able to do it. And as you can see, I just flattened this out. So you can look at it from the side and see that it's pretty flat. And if you want it to just pop it in a basket until you're ready to use it, that's a good flat way of storing it. Then when you're ready to use it, bring it out and make it more dimensional. And then I have this cut apart sheet that I've been working with and it is from a paper pad. And like I said, guys, go through those pads because there is a gold mine that you're sitting on. And all I'm going to do at this point is simply cut this out. And I'm using my finger blade because I'm actually better with my finger blade than I am with scissors. But you guys can use scissors. You don't have to have a finger blade. Okay, and now that I have that cut out. I am going to go around the edges with my ink because I just want to just dirty this up just a little bit, not a whole lot. And now I have the sweet little tag that I can work with. So what I'm going to do with this one is just make a nice twine bow. So basically I've got some twine I am going to wrap it around four fingers as many times as it will go. Then I will get it and I'm going to pinch it in the middle just like this. And I'll take the last tail that I had when I was doing the wrapping, it left a tail, and I just made one loop and I'm going to pull that through that one loop. Don't pull it tight or your cute little rustic ribbon a rustic bow will come undone. So I have that and I'm going to place that right at the bottom. So I am going to place just a little bit of hot glue on that. I'm going to get that stuck down. Then I'll bring in this cute little butterfly and that'll go on just like that. And I'm going to add some glue to the back of the butterfly and place them down right there. And again, you can place little pearls inside to create a body, or you can leave yours plain just as I'm doing. And now as you can see, we have a really cute, fun piece that we now can use in our crafting. And we made it using what we already had. So hopefully when you go through your stash, you are going to see so many wonderful things that you can use in your crafting and you're going to say, oh my goodness, I've had this all along. I can use this in my crafting because you can. And I am going to bring the others back in because now you guys can see that I'm starting to get a little buildup of tags and embellishments that I can use. And I also wanted to show you these other pieces that I cut out that I can now use as ephemera as well. I cut out another flower. Then I cut out a shape from the cut apart pack that I was working with, as well as this little round two sign that I can now embellish and use it as a tag on a gift. Then I cut out this cute little phone that can also be pieces of ephemera. So basically guys, just go through your paper packs and pull out 
um, pieces that you think would be fun to work with. Also, if you have favorite pieces of um, designer series paper or decorative cardstock that has a wonderful pattern on it that you like, cut that apart and use it to create the embellishments that you can then turn around and use on your projects. We don't always have to have the store bought. So hopefully this is helpful to some of you who might be running low on your embellishments or your ephemera and things like that. Look around you and use some of the things that are already there. Guys, I hope that you have liked this quick little project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.